Ciao, I'm Andrew. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of magnesium sulfate. I have a nice little table to help us out. Take a look. Bam, so the first thing we're going to do is write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got magnesium, sulfur, and oxygen. Then we're going to write down the number of atoms of each. That's where the subscripts come into play. So if there is no subscript underneath, basically, or to the lower right-hand side, I just put in a 1 because that's what it is assumed to be. So there's one magnesium, one sulfur, and then there are four oxygens. Then you're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each element. These masses are always found on the periodic table, so let's take a look. Magnesium is 24.31, oxygen is 16, and sulfur is 32.07. So that's what we're going to be plugging in. So we got 24.31, uh, sulfur was 32.07, and then oxygen was 16. And then to find the total mass of each element in the compound, just simply multiply the row and across. So that's 24.31 units of mass for magnesium. Sulfur is going to be 32. That math was easy, right? And now, uh-oh, 4 times 16. What do you got? 64, right? 64. So then to find the total mass of the entire compound, all you literally got to simply do is just add the column together. All right? So that's going to be a total of 120.38. And the units there are AMU because we're solving for molecular mass. Is that an M? I don't know what that is. Well, it's a script M, right? Don't they have more like bounces than a regular M? I don't remember. I learned script when I was in like elementary school and uh, yeah, never use it again. Thanks for watching.